My name is Dr. Rick Segill. I'm and action. Hey, uh, Jay, how did you? This is Kirk to me. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rick, founder of Herbal 411, and I just worked out here in Dallas. I'm out of town, so I couldn't take my protein powder, and I definitely can't cook while I'm out of town. But uh, after workouts, I always try to get in one gram per pound of protein. Well, I'll tr try to get that in throughout the whole day, but I'll try to squeeze as much protein in as possible to maintain that muscle protein synthesis signal that I just started in the gym throughout the whole day. But for those of you who don't follow me, I try to get at least one gram per pound of protein per day for my patients, especially if you're older than 50 and you want to preserve your muscle. When you um, don't exercise, the body, especially if you're insulin resistant, and check out my videos on insulin resistance, uh, when you don't get enough protein, the body cannot utilize as a source of energy carbohydrates that well and definitely doesn't recognize your belly fat as an energy source, even if it's huge. So what does it do for energy? It, it uses up the carbohydrates you ate last night and then it goes for your muscle. And that's why a lot of people get weak and frail looking. For example, if you lose weight with dieting and you're older, you get to lose the weight, but you lose mostly muscle mass and fat and you look gaunt, frail, feeble. I mean, we don't want that. It just gets you weaker and makes you hungrier. So having said that, I'm trying to get my protein. I stopped by Target and this entire aisle is all protein. So if you're not sure what to look for, it's confusing. Um, I'll just stick with like Quest. Here's a, a protein bar, cookies and cream. That's the label. And it has four grams of sugar alcohol, 21 grams of protein, but 21 grams of carbohydrate. I don't, that's equal signals of carb and protein. So I might get a little bit of protein in. I'd shoot for 30 at a time, but then I eat this and it gives me 21 grams of carbohydrate which theoretically can turn on insulin i mean it looks really yummy if you look at that and then there's a whole bunch of other different things to choose from there's quest here's one i used to love this stuff pure protein cookies and cream same. here's the ingredients 20 grams of protein two grams of sugar alcohol five grams of sugar i do not want sugar and the reason being, I mean, it tastes good. It gives it flavor, but it breaks down into uh, glucose and fructose. Glucose I can use as an energy source, but fructose has to go through the liver like alcohol. 18 grams of carbohydrate. So I don't want the carbohydrate signal, although I'm not insulin uh, resistant, like a lot of patients I see. I still don't want the carbohydrates. Yet. You might be carbohydrate sensitive. You might be able to dispose of carbohydrates real fast and glucose, but here's the protein powders, which are a lot easier. I did a video on this. If you don't want as much protein or it's too expensive to get all this stuff, 3.5 grams of L-leucine, which it's not um, pure protein, but it's the most important protein, branched chain amino acid. My theory is that it by itself can support that muscle protein synthesis signal to not break down muscle on the days that you don't exercise. If you're trying to save money on your powder, here's uh, muscle milk, two grams of sugar just on the front, 21 grams of carbs two grams of sugar, 32 grams of protein, 280 calories though. I guess I can take care of the calories myself, but number one, I don't like the sugar. Number two, way too many grams. Here's Quest. Quest Vanilla, 24 grams of protein, good. One gram of sugar, that's pretty decent, kind of. And then there's two grams of carbs, so a little better. Uh, this is not bad. I might go with this one. Flavors vanilla, so maybe. Premier Protein. Let's check out this one. So I'm just trying to get you guys used to labels. There's 30 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, two grams of carb. Uh, that's not bad either. Not know. too many added ingredients. So that's pretty good. Muscle milk, pre-mixed. All you have to do is open this and go. This one's got 32 grams of protein, pretty decent. One gram of sugar, nine grams of carbs. Mm, not bad, but look at this. Holy crap. I can't even read this. Uh, it's convenient, mixed up ahead of time, but I don't know the, the long list of other stuff in there.
Here's Ensure. This is popular for my older patients. Um, 150 calories, 30 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, six grams of carbohydrate. Not, not bad. I don't know the taste of that thing. And then there's Boost, Slim Fest. So bottom line there, it's confusing, but you do have to understand the mechanistic way that these are coming into your body and being metabolized, especially if you already have insulin resistance. I don't want you to, to be orthorexic or apprehensive about eating stuff, but I, I do think that you can utilize food to your advantage because the food industry is utilizing your lack of knowledge to their advantage. That's why all these things taste yummy. And then if you go out to eat a whole food approach, you can get the protein in. Don't sweat it. Just try to do your best with regards to exercise. Get out there. Try to do your best with a whole food approach. If you don't cook or can't get the whole food approach, save money. Try to get your best protein. Or, you know, become a patient of mine. I'll put the link down below as far as um, joining me on my Herbal 411 page and becoming a patient. Whether you're local, local in Illinois or outside the U.S. or outside the state, I can still take care of you, give you guidance. Even if it comes to exercise, if you're not sure what to do, I can guide you. I'm not a coach that can be with you in the gym, but I can certainly put together a template of what you should be doing. Because if you don't have a doctor that helps you in that regard, or you can't find a coach in your area or a physical therapist, and you're just doing it on your own, the likelihood is you're probably going to fail or give up or tap out because sometimes, uh, like if, for example, I'm on a carnivore diet and that's not sustainable. It's, it's novel, it's fun, it's easy. Uh, and I was uh, linking it with uh, hypertrophy training to, as I turned 60, I wanted to try to grow muscle more than ever and hit my max plateaus as far as lifts but uh, I have to switch over. I think we always have to go through that thing called periodization, which is a change up. Muscle memory occurs and so does the gut. Uh, and I can't stay away from fiber too long because my gut microbiome is gonna need that. So again, it's a lot of information, but the bottom line is that you have a choice. It's just very confusing. So if you don't have anybody to guide you, think about being one of my warriors, one of my athletes, one of my patients. Uh, otherwise, uh, think about subscribing, share with somebody else who's uh, on the fence as far as getting healthy or is very confused, uh, especially with the disease process and all the medicines they have. And I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.